The magnify effect can be found under the distort category, and I'm going to apply this to an adjustment layer. So I'm gonna go up to layer, new adjustment layer, and I'm going to turn on a grid behind my logo just so we can really see what's going on. Let's apply magnify to the adjustment layer and take a look at these controls. I'm gonna first jump down to the size property and just crank this value up so that you can see what exactly is happening. We have a circle that's increasing the size of everything within it, and we can change that shape up here at the top from circle to square if you wanted to. I'll reset that back to a circle for now. Next, we have the center point, and we have a little point control that allows us to move that point around, as well as the magnification, so I can increase this or decrease this to make the magnification more powerful. Next up is this link property, which is defaulted to none. But if we go into this, we can see that we have the option to have the size to magnification linked or size and feather to magnification, which we'll get to the feather in a second. Let's start with size to magnification. I'll turn that on. And now the entire comp is being scaled up. And that's because my size is really high. So let me put that down to 100 again and then adjust the magnification. As I do this, you can see that the size is moving with it. So I can set the initial size of the circle independently from the magnification, but then adjusting the magnification also now affects that size. One benefit to this is being able to animate this magnification on with a single property. So if I turn this all the way down to 100% magnification, now I can control both the magnification and the size just by keyframing the magnification. If you'd rather have those independent, just set this to none. But we also have the ability to link the size and feather to the magnification. So if I choose that and turn the feather up, what the feather does is just softens out the edges of that circle, feathering from the magnified view into the standard view. And because we have size and feather linked to magnification, as I turn the magnification down, not only will the size get smaller, but so will the feather. And if I turn that back up and switch from size and feather to just size, you can see how that changes. The feather is much smaller even though the magnification is larger. All right, I'm gonna change that link back down to none and I'm going to turn the feather all the way off and make the size a little bit bigger again. Next up we have the opacity, which just fades between the affected and unaffected version of the layer. And then we have scaling and blending mode. So let me zoom in here nice and close to a magnified portion of this layer and just change the scaling from standard to soft. Now that might be a little bit hard to see, so I'm just gonna increase the magnification really crazy high and change this again. Standard, soft. It's just a different way of handling the pixels as they're being scaled up. We also have the option to scatter, which is really interesting. I don't exactly know what I would use this for, but it is an option. I'll set that back to standard, and we also have blending modes, and this is exactly the same as all the blend modes in your layer down here. So if I change this to overlay, it's going to blend the magnified portion of the comp with the unaffected version of the comp. I could also change this to none so that all we're seeing is the magnified portion of our composition. I'm gonna change that back down to normal. And then finally we have resize layer, and that's not going to be apparent on this adjustment layer because the adjustment layer is the size of the comp. But if I turn this off and add the magnify effect to my logo alone, and again, I'll make the size nice and big, and I'll turn the magnification way up, the magnified version of the logo is being cropped to the bounds of the layer. Checking the resize layer box will just extend the layer out so that the bounds is increased however far it needs to be in order to fill out the magnification circle. So how can we hook this up to a graphic of a magnifying glass? Well, I have one here made from shape layers with the base handle and then the glass on a separate layer. That way I can just blend them a little bit better. And what I'll do is turn that adjustment layer back on and turn my magnification back down to say 250. And then just kind of position this where I want it and size it down so that it fits within that circle of the handle there. Now I want this to be tied to the magnifying glass. So what I'm going to do is Alt or Option click on the center property up here which will add an expression. And I'm gonna give myself a little bit more room and I'm going to edit that expression and using the expression pick whip, grab the magnifying glass layer, just the layer name. And that gives me an error because it's not a complete expression yet, but I'm going to edit this and add a dot to comp. Autofill will give me those parentheses and inside those parentheses, I'm going to do an open square bracket, zero comma zero comma zero, closing square bracket, closing parentheses. So what this expression is saying is look at the magnifying glass layer and find out where it is in relationship to the comps coordinates of zero, zero, zero on the X, Y, and Z axis. So the top left corner is zero comma zero on the X and Y. So we're getting a value on that center layer 
equal to the distance between that point and the anchor point for this layer. That's not exactly where I want it though. If I move this around, you can see that we're not getting that magnification. So what I need to do is edit this expression one more time and right at the beginning say value plus and then leave the rest of the expression the same. Now we're factoring in whatever value we have set on the center property already. So I can change this to zero comma zero. And if I zoom out, I can now see that center point, but I can move it around freely to line it up right where I want it because it's now taking the value that I put in here and adding it to the value of the distance between this anchor point right here and the top left corner. So if I move the magnifying glass around now, that magnification center is going to go with it. Now one issue is if I rotate the magnifying glass, the actual magnification center point does not go with it because it's relative to where the anchor point is on the magnifying glass not the center of this lens. So to get around that, I'm actually gonna make a new null object by going up to layer, new null object, and I'll call this magnification center. And then I'll just edit the expression we already wrote. So now instead of looking at the magnifying glass layer, I'm going to select that portion of the expression and use that expression pick whip to grab the magnification center null object. Let go of that, apply it, and now the magnification is relative to this null object and I can actually just zero out the value and it will be in the exact same point as my null object. So once again, I'm gonna move this in the center of that glass layer, but now I can parent the magnification center to the magnifying glass layer. And as I rotate this, it's going to move the null around but keep it in the same spot that I need it to be for the magnification center. So now I have a working magnifying glass right here inside of After Effects. And if I wanna make this a little bit smaller, then all I would need to do is go into the magnify effect and change the size down a little bit. I'll reposition that just a little bit, and now I have a smaller magnifying glass working inside my comp. But that's all you need to know about the magnify effect. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.